So today we're making the Cobra Skiss. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're making the Cobra Fang. We're making the Cobra Kai. No. <laughs> Cobra Fang. Cobra Fang. Fuck. Nothing to do with Karate Kid. However, there is a reference to the Cobra's Kiss if you follow through to the end of the episode. Oh, or if you just want to see me kick Derek. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. Derek and Dan are going to make for you the Cobra's Fang. <laughs> 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 no, we're not drunk. I not yet. Are we drunk? No, I don't no, feel, I don't feel like we're drunk. So, After this, we might be. You know what? <laughs> no. But if you're watching a cocktail show and you're worried you about somebody be... getting drunk, you can fuck off. Yeah, but we don't. <laughs> but, but here's the thing is, we spend more of our time having fun than yeah. getting drunk. This, to me, that's what the show should be. It should be more about like having, having fun. fun. Drunk is a side effect of having too much fun. Right? Like that. My goal isn't to get drunk. My goal is to experience cool drinks and have fun. Exactly. And if you can't do that, then this is the wrong show for you. So fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> the Cobra's Fang is going to be <laughs> an ounce and a half of 151 Demerara proof rum. I'm using, what are we using? Lemon Heart. Lemon Heart. We're using Lemon Heart. I said to. Uh, a half ounce of fresh lime juice, a half ounce of fresh orange juice. Squeeze your fucking orange juice. Um, oh, he half, squeezed the shit out of it. He did. Us. He squeezed the shit out of it. Half ounce of passion fruit syrup, a quarter ounce of falernum for that. We're using falernum, velvet falernum. Uh, a dash of Angostura bitters, six drops of absinthe. Now, if you want to make your own falernum at home, I highly encourage you to do so. But I haven't, so I can't talk, and I'm not going to preach because it's fucking work. You can make your own? Yeah. You make we your should own? do that. We should have like a, a falernum party. What the fuck do you do? Uh, we make falernum and get naked? I don't Sweet. know. What do you, I, I don't know what the, uh, there's a help, D, link below if you have a good DIY flarenum recipe. Just that's throwing how it out there like we've done it before. <laughs> no, that's the only thing I haven't done. I've done, I haven't done passion oh, sure, shit. but you, know, you gotta watch out for that. Um, I've done uh, orgeat, but this is, this is a little different. Did my camera not come on? Fuck you camera. No, there's no camera. Um. What, how am I supposed to do six drops of this shit? Okay, so here's what you do. All right, what Steven am I doing? Steven suggested, he's like, oh, Dan's going to totally fuck this up. And I'm like, Ah, uh, yeah. Steven, see? So, Steven, call me out. So here's the options. Um, I would say, let's do this. This is coffee bitters. Let's just let's just blow this out. Oh, that's going to be, that's, that's too much. Here. Yeah, it's going to be too um, much. I have droppers around. We'll use this lemon, we have lemon grass. Well, how, here. six milliliters is how many ounces? All of them. Um, six milliliters? Six milliliters. Six milliliters is... Six milliliters is, is one... It's like a quarter, less than a quarter ounce. So this is a quarter of an ounce. Like, you just got shit all the fuck I over me. Here, use this. It's like a quarter ounce. It's like 0. .20. It doesn't taste too much like bitters. Here. Yeah, yeah, pour that in there. Drop it in there. Six drops. You want to be precise on this because if you go too much, you're going to end up with... Fucking something that tastes like black licorice. And that's the last thing we want in our tiki drink. We've done that with the zombie. It's never a good idea. It just makes right. it, it ruins everything. So you've got to be precise with your absinthe. If you don't have absinthe, use absinthe liqueur. Six like drops like this? Yeah. The real so that's drops. one drop. One, one, no, not, no, not the one, whole thing. Yeah. One, there you one go. two, two three, four, five, six, done. That's it? Yeah. Dude, do you know what this stuff is? This is absinthe. <laughs> it, I drink that shit for breakfast. Look, you can drink it for breakfast. That's not a problem. The problem is it's very herbal and right in your face. Right in your face. You, do you like black, black licorice? Thing. No. Okay, so really. then you don't want a lot of absinthe because what, this does not belong to this. Did I do this? Was it's, this on here? No, it's right here. No, that doesn't belong to that. Oh, What'd you do with it? I, this is, it probably belongs to it, but it's not Oh, right no. One. That was on there. Yeah, I probably yeah. fucked up and lost the right one. Ah, uh, shake it. You know what that shit is? And you put your own cap on Black licorice. <laughs> Executive right. producer is Brian Gift. Thank you, Brian Gift. You can go to patreon.com slash cmc and become a Patreon subscriber. If you don't like Patreon or for some reason it doesn't work for you, you don't like the VAT taxes it tries to jam down your throat, that's fine. You can just click the join button and give us five bucks a month from uh, YouTube. Uh, that would be great because I really would love, I would enjoy to get this camera to 4K. Here's the problem I have. Wow, that's all stained with rust now. Huh? Um, if you look at this corner, you're going to be... <laughs> you saw the other side. Uh, sure. If you look at this corner, people love to tell me how this corner is blurry over here. That's because my camera fucking sucks. So if you want to help us out, I'm all for taking your money so I can upgrade that to a 4K camera. Exactly. I have a, I have a 4K monitor now because we built the Hackintosh that's... That that renders awesome or renders the wrong that wrong promo, 
renders the show Comedy and Cocktails, and half the time it used to before, thanks to Jennifer building this thing from scratch. Big old computer, it's awesome. Check out my Instagram to see it. Uh, but the problem is I have a 4K monitor now, and I watched our show in 4K, and I apologize to those people who have, have 4K monitors and maximize their screen and go, dude, you look like ass. I, I know. It looks like ass. It's okay. It's boring. I'm, it's okay. I'm a perfectionist. I look, look great. It's, it's okay. I watched, I watched okay. Trevor Noah on okay. First We Feast eat out wings, and was like fucking beautiful. I'm like, why is his look so much better than mine? 4K. Yeah. Fuck oh, me. and he makes a lot of more money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they make a lot. They start with a lot more money though. Yeah. Complex. Oh, 4K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's always there. <laughs> Three dollars and ninety nine cents, which is almost 4K, except for in Canadian, it's less, right? When it comes over here. It was almost four. Four thousand pennies. What do you think? I'm telling you, six drops was See, enough. Mark. Hmm? Mark's, oh yeah. Mark's all about it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell just happened? Oh. oh, Mark, there you go. We're working on it. $10 more for our camera. Hold on, I'm working on it. Sweet, Mark. We're, 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 uh, how much do you think one of those cameras are? I can't remember when you priced up the four, 4K camera. I feel like it was in the multi th multiple thousands. Yes. So, like the camera we're using right here, that was about $2,800. Maybe a little more. Thirty? No, well, I wouldn't spend thirty eight hundred, but yeah. around the three thousand dollar mark, right? I guess it's come down. So if we can get one that's better than this for less money. Mm. There's one for fourteen hundred. I don't know if it's any good, but I just did four. Fourteen hundred. A fourteen hundred dollar camera can't be that bad. Hmm. Interesting drink. So, but right now you're getting that that uh, the black licorice in the back end. I get the passion fruit. The, yes, in the back end, it's mm -hmm. slight uh, black licorice. So if you did more than six dashes, that would have went pop right yeah, there. Yeah, that would It would have blown the drink. Yeah. Right? So Cobra's Fang, um, a lot of people, there's probably history of this, a lot of a lot of original cocktail creators, um, they used absinthe for a lot of their drinks, but it was always in drops because it's, and it's not because it's too strong, it's not because you're going to hallucinate, it's just because it's got that, the it's sambuca, so, yeah, like the so black strong. licorice flavor. You, you want to, some people want to bring that into the drink to add that complexity, but you don't want it to be all of that. Um, then you have the falernum, which brings in your cloves, your trade spices, your cinnamons, um, and all that type of stuff. And then you have your molasses from the, the Demerara, the lemon heart, and then I'll probably even more. This just fucking amps up for Yeah. You. It's just like, oh, you like allspice? Boom, have some more. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's got that rum, tiki... All yeah. kinds of flavor going on all at once in your face hole. We're not on Roku anymore, Sal, because uh, they took me down because they didn't have enough views. Not enough people watch. You guys, are they, are they afraid to come in? Go ahead. You can come in. I can always jump cut. You don't like this drink, do you? <laughs> not really. I mean, it's not bad. So I'm, I'm feeling like you're it's not a like, big passion fruit syrup guy. No, I actually, I like the passion fruit. It's, it's like it's always been it's paired it's really herbal it's like it herbal is. hits passion fruit yeah so it's like i want to be sweet but here comes the herbal side i feel that mm. yeah like so the orange juice besides carrying some <laughs> besides being not the alcohol yeah it doesn't bring a lot of citrus you, the lime does no. a little bit but you're right it's like it's like a big boat of trade spices just jammed down your throat. Yeah. Like, they're it's all definitely there. tiki. That is definitely <laughs> yeah. a tiki. It's tiki. You can. It's going to hurt you in the yeah. end, but it doesn't have a lot of potency to it. But I, the, the potency, the 151 is lost in the fact that there's so many flavors hitting your face. You, I mean, this is, you can't even, it doesn't no. do anything. It's just, it's there. Yeah. If it wasn't there, it'd probably be flat. But there's no, there's no, I mean, you can barely, t I mean, you can, you obviously have the rum taste. Yeah. But it's not like a Bernie rum. To, no. It's just a regular. But 151. If you put if you put regular rum in there, it would get lost. Right. You need something. You wouldn't. Extreme. You wouldn't have. Because it's got so anything. many freaking flavors. Yeah. But this drink, by like this size drink, is still a, like a drink and a half, alcohol wise. So if you just if you really love this drink and you had two or three of these, you're probably gonna wake up with your dick in your hand. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Like or someone else's, and that's weird. <laughs> that, 
<laughs> you don't want that. You're like, well. I hate when that happens. <laughs> you like wake up. You're like, what is this doing in my head? <laughs> Why isn't it attached to a body? <laughs> what did I do last night? <laughs> um, but it is okay. So it is a classic '30s drink invented by Don the Beachcomber. For those that love it, 1937-ish. Um, if you go to the Mai Kai in Florida. The the I can't we did a video I'll link it up here on the history of like Tiki and some of the original creators uh, I can't remember his name it's a, kind of a crazy name but he created when he went and created the Mai Kai restaurant and he came he was one of Don the Beach's uh, best bartenders mm. he came there and he recreated this drink and called it the Cobra's Kiss so if you go to the Mai Kai you order Cobra's Kiss it's this drink even though it's called the Cobra's Fang. He basically renamed drinks to make it their own, but I don't think he did a lot of changing. Some things yeah. he tweaked can make it his own because Don Beach was like, you make my drink my fucking way or you don't work here. Yeah. Right? So this guy was like, I get my own bar. I get to do things my way. But he, his, you know, the father figure is Don Beach. So he goes there and he creates these recipes and he tweaks them a little bit. But then what happened over the years is he was like, don't fucking touch my drink. My drink. Don't change it. So he turned into the, same, turned the same, thing same thing that he was trying to avoid being. So you can get the Cobra's Kiss or the Cobra's Fang. They're probably going to be very similar, which is passion fruit, Demerara, 151, and Trey Spices up in your ass. It's starting to grow on me a little bit. It's 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 like a either a beginning drink Maybe or an end drink. I don't know. It's, we'll see. You know what it is? It's, it's like fudge. There's just so much going on that you have there to... Is. You have to. You kind of want to taste it together and just like figure it out. Right, and it is pretty complex. It's it's complex and creative. You just have to appreciate for what it is and probably just drink one, which is probably why it's 151 proof. Typically, I think the original would have used lemon heart because lemon heart is kind of like the classic tiki 151 product. Don't you know what? Use anything. Use Q, not Q. Use Don Q. Q is the soda. <laughs> use yes. Don Q. Use uh, I Hamilton. Know what he was talking about. Something. If you can't drunk. get lemon heart, <laughs> this is my drunk face. You just see me when I'm fucking it's sober. Because it's, it's drunk. Don't use Bacardi 151. Is what? That's all I'm saying. Because it's just fucking rocket fuel. It's used for lighting the little volcano in the middle of your scorpion ball. That's the only purpose <laughs> that you have with Bacardi 151. Don't yeah, use that no. in anything. <laughs> no, that's just. I mean, this is. You can actually taste this. Yeah, it's. it's, it's there's not, very few drinks yeah. that use lemon heart. That lemon heart is the center. Yeah. It's usually like, oh, I'm just gonna add this on the top for floats or for whatever. Yeah. But not for the actual core component, which is a little bit weird. But it works. Good. A little taste of history right there. That's it. Tiki drinks on the sidebar. Uh, did we mention summer nineteen is our coupon code for? Uh, you can summer. get some of this syrup there. Yep. You can get or these shirt. new glasses. Yep, you can get these. These, these are eight-ounce coupe glasses. I just got them in stock because we had one of our, not even a fan, it was just somebody who found us, like, years ago, broke one of his at home. He lives in, like, Watertown, New Mass. And he's like, I needed more of them. I didn't have them in stock, so I ordered them just for him. So well, that means go. we got more because I can't just order one See what glass. he does? I, I am a people person. He is. So buy my stuff. Shit, yeah. So there's a bartender kick down below, too. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. That's all I say.